Hi, my name is Joey Papa. I'm a coffee consultant, and today we're going to learn how to make caramel turtle coffee at home. Now, it's great to have a flavored coffee beverage once in a while, especially to replace a dessert because they're much lower in calories. But if you're looking for a creative way to add a little spice to your next party or celebration, this is a great idea how to serve coffee just a little differently. Now, when we use the term caramel turtle, what we're referring to is the mixture of caramel, chocolate, and almond flavoring. Now, you can pick up, obviously, chocolate and the caramel sauce in your ice cream aisle at your local grocery store. And you can either use an extract that you'll find down the baking aisle, or in some um, supermarkets down the coffee aisle, you can actually find coffee flavoring to add to your coffee beverages. And so if you have that there, you can also purchase almond flavoring that's made for coffee. And what, what we're gonna do here is, I like to use a clear glass because what you can do is drizzle your caramel sauce and your chocolate sauce on the inside of the cup before you pour in the coffee. And it gives it a really great look and feel to it to make it a little more festive. You can add some sugar to it as well to sweeten it more, or you can serve it as is. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, brewed coffee and you can brew it in a French press like I've done here, or you can brew it in a home uh, regular coffee pot brewer and have that ready to go before your party starts. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your clear glass, you're gonna uh, drizzle some caramel sauce on the outside of the glass, then you're gonna drizzle some chocolate sauce on the outside, and then you're gonna take one teaspoon of the caramel sauce, put it in the bottom, one teaspoon of the chocolate sauce, and put that in the bottom. You're gonna take one teaspoon of the almond flavoring and put that in the bottom of the glass. Then you're gonna pour in your brewed coffee, add some milk or half and half. Again, you can add some extra sugar if you want it a little sweeter. And there you have your caramel turtle coffee. You can top it off with whipped cream or drizzle some extra caramel and chocolate on top of the whipped cream or serve it however you want. Again, my name is Joey Papa. I'm a coffee consultant, and today we learned how to make a caramel turtle coffee at home.